Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a bunch of new leaks to look at, so let's get into the video. Alright, so we have some new pets along with a new hat and also some big updates to bosses. So let's go ahead and look at those. Alright, so if we go ahead and head into our pet book, we can go to the last page. This is hacked in, so you probably won't have this. But there are a few new pets. The first one that we're going to be looking at is actually a mythical epic. This is a variant of Inti Talk. And this one is called Saranox, I believe that would be how you pronounce it. This is going to be a speedy type. Speedy pets are fast and excel at multi-hit attacks. Saranox are most active during lunar eclipses where they race each other in the shimmering twilight. So this should be coming in the next treasure track. Um, a few days ago, actually, we got some new treasure track leaks. Um, this was added on Monday, and this confirms what our next treasure track is going to be called. So we have this, which is called About Starry Night, August, September. So we've pretty much already seen these images before. Um, these kind of just confirm that we are going to be getting a treasure track themed around this. So the treasure track should be themed around Starlight Festival. What's interesting is that the K right here, it's not Starry Night without the K, it's with a K, which kind of makes it seem like this could have a medieval theme, partially in the second half of it when Starlight Festival leaves. Um, that's kind of just a theory. So we have this, which says Starry Night, it's time for another adventure. Um, this is Battle Pass FTUE, screen for 2025 August. We also have the quest background. Um, this is what the home page is going to look like. They never use this actually. Um, this is supposed to be the loading screen. And then this will be the Wizard Watch post for Starlight Festival uh, treasure track. Now, for some reason, if I go into your team, um, I pretty much just can't. Um, so we can't really see what the spells for this are going to be. I guess we could kind of see them later in the video. But I can show you the attack animation. So this is what the spine for Saranox is going to look like. Um, we can put this into a spine viewer. And this is what it's going to look like completely full. We've seen it. This is the attack animation. Um, we can't really get a great look at it, but it looks pretty nice. Um, I think that we can also see the idle animation, yeah. So this is the idle animation, and then here is the walk animation for it. So, nothing super interesting. Another few things that we got with Saranox, this is the Mythical Epic pose for it, which I think looks really cool. We also have the icon, which looks like this, and this is another version of the hero pose. Now, we also have a few other pets. The first one is right here, Iger, I guess that would be. This is a speedy type pet. Iger usually lets the currents carry them, but they can also move with extreme speed if needed. So this is an evolution of Sarazag and Flickfoot. So I assume you can probably get this in game right now. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Now we also have a few other pets, which you can see right here. These ones are kind of insane. So we have Shadow Puff right here, which type is Protector. And it says, is, this, is that a baby shadow dragon with its gleaming eyes and flickering scales? It was surely born to command the power of the shadows. So Shadow Drake is getting evolutions now, which I guess could mean that we could potentially see this within the Starlight Festival treasure track. Since I have a theory that the treasure track is going to... Or that Starlight Festival is supposed to coincide with Dragon Owl Part 2... Um, so this is what the first evolution looks like. Shadow Drake's name was changed to be Shadow Heart, so this is what its name is now. I don't think the description or anything was changed with it. But then we also have Shadow Flash, which looks a lot like the Shadow Dragon. And this is a protector. It says Shadow Flashes are extremely hard to track down. They can disappear in a puff of darkness and ride the shadows at the speed of night. So I assume you can probably also get Shadow Flash in-game if you evolve your Shadow Drake. So that is pretty cool. I 
think Shadow Drakes might now be max level 40. I don't know about that. I don't think that any other pets were added. Yeah. Um, now we also do have a hat that was added in game. This one is supposed to be themed around Starlight Festival. I have to find it. So here is the Festival Master hat, which I think looks super cool. So this hat, I believe, should come inside of Starlight Festival. It has a heart bonus of 180, so it's not super great. But it says mystical hat filled with Starlight Festival magic that belongs to a wizard who started the festival. So I kind of feel like they're missing some words in here because that's not grammatically correct. But I really like how this hat looks. It should definitely come in Starlight Festival probably as um, a reward that you have to do by actually like doing quests. It could also be something that Mama Star is selling. Although, I don't think that will be the case. So, now we're going to move on to some other leaks. So, this one is a leaked thing that's called Icon Item Crystal Blue. So, I guess this will be an item. I have no idea how you would get this. There's also a green one, which is called Icon Item Crystal Green. I have no idea where these are going to be used but they were added today. We also have something that's called Gift Box State Challenges. Now, I'm not sure if people have gotten the rewards for the State Challenges. I have been seeing people wearing them, but I haven't actually gotten them on any of my accounts, even though my class did finish in Platinum. So that may be, get, we may be getting rewards. I don't really know. Um, so we have Trophy Bronze State Challenges, which will look like this. We also have a Silver one, and we also have a Gold one. So those are pretty interesting. I don't know if these are actually going to be for next State Challenges, or if they're actually going to give out the rewards. I don't really know how or if people have gotten there, so as I said. Now we also have a few things in the data. These were added sometime last week, I think. Um, but these are supposed to be for hard mode, I believe. It says, Sebelini quest pop-up description. You completed the battle rules for Sebelini, which is something that we see um, in hard mode battle rules. And it says, don't worry, this battle should be a piece of cake for a wizard. And then we have the old one quest pop-up description, which says, you completed the battle rules for the old one. It's time to show the puppet masters, monsters, monster who's boss. We also have Nasty Cloud quest pop-up description, which says you completed the battle rules for Nasty Cloud. Let's head to the Cumulus room. And then we have Ice Worm quest pop-up description, which says you completed the battle rules for Ice Worm. Bok and Slip wish you good luck. So those were the four things that were added to the data. We also did get some changes to some of the hard mode files in the assets. Um, I didn't take the time to read them. I don't think any of them have to do with a new version of hard mode coming out for Shiver Chill Mountain because I would assume that if it did come out today, um, the Ice Galaxy would have been added, which it wasn't. Now, moving into the data, this is where it gets interesting. So we have the Grand Off stats right here. Its HP was nerfed from 1450 to 1020. I'm pretty sure these are just base stats. So um, if you were actually fighting it and you run like level 100, I think that these would be higher. Its base power got nerfed. Defense and speed also got nerfed. And then um, I don't know what these are supposed to be for. I guess they're also for Grand Off. So it can use all four of its spells when it's at level one. Um, Mira Shade also got nerfed to have a health of 920. Its power got nerfed, its defense got nerfed, and its speed got nerfed. So it looks like Prodigy is trying to make it easier for bosses to be beaten, because that was something that I had seen um, as complaints. People were complaining that bosses were way too hard, like the Titan took a very long time to defeat and it just didn't really feel rewarding to do fights. Um, so I guess they're trying to figure out a way to fix that. Um, I think this is just the zone boss for 
Skywatch. I don't really know what this one's supposed to be for. But it looks like all of their um, stats got nerfed, and then now they're able to use their spells at level 1. And some of their spells got changed, it looks like. Um, this, I assume, is Sabellini, so everything got nerfed as well. And it can use its spells at level 1. Some of the spells got changed as well, I believe. And I assume this is probably the case for every single one, so I assume this would be Gerald. And I guess it could also be the Titan, um, but I kind of feel like it's the, uh, just zone bosses. So, like, Zeppelini, Old One, all of those. So, then this one would probably be the Ice Worm or the Ice Titan. Um, here's Pippet. Pippet got a major nerf, so its HP is down from 1210 to 540. Speed got cut in half, defense cut in half, and power down 30. And some of its spells are now able to be used on level 1. Um, don't know what these ones are supposed to be for. Well, actually, I guess the final bosses are supposed to be, like, the element- Oh, these are the bosses that you battle in side of the academy before you fight the puppet master i'm guessing because this is illusion ice worm or shadow ice worm so all of those got nerfed as well i assume the puppet master probably also got nerfed um but i haven't seen that yet so it looks like that even hollow jack got nerfed and he pretty much isn't even in the game at all um cloaked wizards also seem like they got a nerf as well so i guess they just nerfed every single boss in the game it's looking like um i do want to see um if the dragons got updated because that is kind of important it doesn't look like they were the astral dragon um is extremely hard to beat so i don't think that they updated it this time but hopefully they do update the astral dragon physical dragon and uh phys shadow dragon to be weaker because they are pretty hard to beat now i believe especially the astral dragon like i lost to it probably 10 times before i actually beat it and then it looks like pets also got a slight rebalancing so this is solarix um, its HP got increased, power decreased slightly, defense decreased slightly, and speed decreased slightly. Um, so I'm not going to go through all of these changes because this video is kind of already long and it would become much longer. It seems like power, defense, and speed are all getting nerfed while HP is maybe going up. I think that's the trend that I'm seeing here. Yeah, it is for this one as well. I'm not going to say that that's... The case for every single pet but that is trending to be what i'm seeing here yeah same with this so i think that's pretty much everything that i really have to talk about there were 520 changes in the metadata so i really can't go through all of them in this video so yeah that is going to go ahead and end of the video we could be seeing starlight festival come very soon um i assume it'll probably come out with the next treasure track, which ends in three days. So we could maybe be seeing this sometime on like August the 3rd, 4th, uh, probably 4th or 6th, because that would be a Monday and a Wednesday. Either one of those days, I think that we could see Starlight Festival and the next treasure track. Hopefully we do get some more Dragon Isle leaks, because at the moment it's kind of looking disappointing. All we've seen is the Shadow Dragon, or er, Fire Dragon faces, and we haven't even gotten in a spine for the Fire Dragon yet, so that's a bit concerning. But that is going to go ahead and end the video. Let me know what you guys think of these leaks in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and bye.